Ulysses S. Grant, Unexpected Rise. This is Lessons in History with Roger Weston. Welcome to my world where history repeats itself every day. We shine the light on great events, great heroes, great villains, and great disasters. We pull back the layers of history and extract the lessons that we can use and benefit from in our own life and over to, in, over to, in order to overcome adversities that we face. Now back to history. In 1900, Marriott Brocious, congressman from Pennsylvania, gave the commemorative speech for the dedication of the Ulysses S. Grant speech behind the Capitol building. Now, according to Brocious, he says, in some attributes, Ulysses S. Grant was without parallel in American history. In his speech, he says this, which is an amazing, that's an amazing uh, impact that Ulysses S. Grant had. He stamped his mark on history. Some people <clears throat> doubt that the North would have won the war if it weren't for, uh, for Ulysses S. Grant, and that might have been a kind of stalemate. General Sherman once said to Ulysses S. Grant, your belief in victory I compare with nothing but the faith of a Christian in his Savior. Which is really, there again, is it's an astounding statement about Grant's faith in his own victory. He's obviously an amazing, uh, an amazing general. And I'd like to read a quote from, from the, the speech that Marriott Brocious gave in 1900 behind the White House at the dedication ceremony for the, for the, the Ulysses S. Grant statue that's still there today. Prior to the war, there was nothing in Grant's career that arrested attention. He had, he had found no field for the exercise of those amazing aptitudes for war. So what Brocious is saying here is that prior to the war, Ulysses S. Grant was a nobody. He had done nothing to catch anybody's attention that this is a person with any particular talents. Brocious goes on to say, at an age when Alexander Hamilton had laid the corner, had laid the cornerstone of the most splendid financial system the world had ever seen and reached the summit of his fame. An age when Garfield had filled the chair of a college president, worn the glittering stars of a major general, and occupied a seat in the National Congress. And an age in which Napoleon had vanquished the combined armies of a continent and was master of Europe, <clears throat> Grant was unknown. He had not even discovered himself. He was living in safe obscurity. So, this is a this is a, really an amazing observation about Ulysses S. Grant, which is that prior to the war there was nothing in his career that marked him out as being exceptional or or noteworthy to anybody, and yet he went on to change history and and uh, played an incredibly uh, major uh, role in in the history of our country. And so there's a lesson here. And I think the lesson, which I've seen in other people I've studied as well, is that sometimes people are in the wrong place at the wrong time. And as a result, they need to find another arena. They need to jump into another arena. And this, you know, it can be as, it could be timing. I, it could be that sometimes a person just needs to persevere until the timing is right. Or it could be that they're just in the wrong, they're in the wrong place and they're not able to thrive because they're not using their own gifts and talents. They're doing the wrong thing. And so 
it's something to it's something uh, that can apply to uh, to many people. Comment below. We'll see you at the next report for lessons in history. I'm Roger Weston.